Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel, another game, game, Stu's Game Reviews live stream. We're wearing a Star Trek Next Generation shirt today for no apparent reason. And uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. In the East Coast, still got six minutes. It's Sunday, June 18th. And also, uh, happy Juneteenth coming up tomorrow. And uh, it's on some calories I've seen it on Friday, but I think it's tomorrow. But in any case, happy Juneteenth, everybody. And um, yeah, we're doing the Sierra demo CD. There's been lots of demos. This is the fourth, fourth stream where we worked on these. We still got a bunch more to go. So without further ado, last time we did a non interactive demo of Pepper's Adventures in Time, which was originally called Twisty History before it was released. And uh, we're going to do now the interactive demo, which should be a lot of fun. It's a really good game. Uh, Gamers Grotto thought he remembered, <gasps> excuse me, <laughs> that there's speech in this game. It was released on CD, but there's no speech. It was not released on CD. Maybe a little bit of speech, like a couple incidental, you know, sound effects here and there. Really good game. I uh, definitely recommend it. Pleasantly surprised when I played it back in the day. This one's called Peppers Adventures in Time, not Twisty History. Let's start again. I can actually save the game, interesting. It's a game like made for kids, but it's fun for adults too, at least it was when I played it last time. I should look during this act. <clears throat> and then it's just the objective, meet Uncle Fred, go back in time, escape from the Watchmen. I have a score. Hey, I was asleep. I'm about to dig this, but... Is this toilet paper on the floor? Oh, it's a pipe that's connected, it's connected there. Yeah, so she doesn't talk. Oh, she said she'd like to call bird shit or something. Oh, it's gum. Oops. Why are you stepping in it? Why did you pick it up? Why did you pick it up? what you could do with it also. Hey Lock, you're only gonna pick one of Mrs. O'Brien's flowers for Mom. I told you that not to keep away from my flowers, Missy! But look at all the holes he's made in my flower bed! See in my inventory, I don't have him. I thought I, I thought I could use him to like go attack her or something. Hey Andy, why is your front wall, yard chair wall at the neighbor? <laughs> it's a good question, actually. It's a shitty it's attached house. <laughs> I like that dog because he looks like he's a little bit mean, but also like good natured. Can I pick an apple? To like whack the blue jay with the pipe. I 
Just to reattach it. what you could do. <laughs> See a fur face and going inside for a while. Why, why, why? I guess you're right, Indy, but I don't even know why I want to fix the pipe. I mean, you're probably right. Baby, I'll stay there with you. Alright, let's try that. Not soft enough. I mean, I don't know why we're bothering to repair it, but... I guess... It's, I mean, I'd rather take the pipe and just smash it over the head. A little bit of speech sample there. Good animation. So we got points for that. I don't know what the point of it was, but we did get points. How do I exit this place? Do I get a splinter? Coast is clear, show you a flower again. I want to tell him to like go eat her. I guess that doesn't work. What the hell? Can't take this anymore, Uncle Fred's gonna go back to the nursing home. Oh, I mean, you're right, because Andy used to climb the pipe. You know they won't take him back. He blew up the shuffleboard cords. What's doing my attic? The door's always locked. Terrible banging noises night and day. I tell you the guy's evil. He just has a couple girls up there, huh, darling? I don't even hear anything over that noise. I can't stand to say we're just like he's your uncle Fred. What do you mean? I thought he was your uncle Fred. <laughs> I asked him quiet. I promise he's a sweet old man. Oops, little ears. Sweet old man, my foot. What are he's really doing up there? Let's go fire ourselves, Lockjaw. Clean up now. Ah, Joe, let go of my leg, you hairball. You want to go with me? Ooh, ooh, was it Scooby Doo? Ask me to get you up there. You hid your harness. <laughs> and now the dog. Smell like bite. I know what this is. <laughs> hey, Gamers Grotto. Get out of there, you hard animal. Pepper, stop your dog. Lockjaw, come here. Sorry, Mrs. Jackass. Good boy. <laughs> good, good. Pepper Pumpernickel, your dog is the worst creature I've ever seen. I like you anyway, Lockjaw. Too many can't bite that lady's ass.
Oof, arf not. <laughs> I think Scooby Doo, I'm telling you. Roar, roar. Oh, she's just holding on to it. You put it on her. <laughs> That's funny. Oops, I missed that. <laughs> I hope that's his tail. I think you make it up here. Oh, wait, I can actually make it up there. <laughs> oh, woo! Does Tim actually make that noise? The buff! The buff! Yeah, they're like a fat old spider. It's a really cute game, isn't it? I want to look through the windows at the end here. Hey, Louise. <coughs> Please don't phase the game. What do you phase the game? You're crazy, Fred. You're a sick, Fred. You're really locked up, Fred. That's what they say about me in the institution. Or they say that in the institution. He's really locked up. Ah! I'll just show them. I'll show them all. Ah! Ah! My one if machine and I will change the course of history. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. What if penicillin ever invented? What if the Mongols took over Europe? What if we're king of the universe? Ah! You just about this duck case. Okay, okay. Now where do I start? Who's gonna get frenified first? Ah, uh, him, Ben Franklin. I always hated him for no reason. Just wait till I get through with him. There's on the TV. Some determination, equality. What a lot of flamingo feathers. Equality is only for those who deserve it, namely me. I'm a racist bastard. Oh, I know just the thing. 1968. Yes. I'll get you, Ben Franklin. In a few moments, I'll have the special essence of the 1968 to Philadelphia in 1764, and everything will change. This potion has all the metal stuff from 1968, the let it be attitude, all that junk. But I check out the backboard, I check out the will to protest. When I get done with Benjamin Franklin, it will be an intense burning, headband wearing jellyfish. <laughs> that wasn't so good, I tried, Gamers Grotto. <laughs> Open wide, Mr. Franklin. Once you become a flower child, you can destroy any chance for American Revolution. Uh-oh. Pretty good, to be honest. It was off the cuff, always sleep. No practice there. You're so influential, you're probably to call the colonists, quit their job, and staging rock concerts in no time. Here it goes. Hey, 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 hey. This is a sick brass. He's going, hey, hey, hey. Looks like a pervert. Holy time warp block joy, he's gonna change the course of history. You gotta stop or else I'll be seeing God save the Queen at school tomorrow. Woof 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 Black Joy look out, we're Yikes Ow! What? You, you nosy little brat! Get out of here! You better keep your mouth shut off this adventure or I'll turn your ugly mud into dog puree! I'm gonna let you change history, freaky Freddy! No way! Your toes got turned on. Oh. Oh, there's actually a voice sample there. I think he has a couple of them. They missed the girl. I look at the wolf. Oh, look at this guy. Look at, look at, look at that sicko. Look at him. He's a molester. Whoa! I guess that's a time machine. Lockjaw! Oh no, you get that rotten door time machine right now! Go and everything! Stop him, you fool! Look at this face. Look at this guy's face. Good thing he doesn't got 22 points. I can press enter to clear the message, but I'm afraid I'll, I'll, I'll miss the next one. Uh, I'll go for it. Oh, I can actually control it. Can I beat the shit out of this guy? 
hundred frames left because I was trying to get it for the attack. I wish I saw that pipe. I beat this guy on the head with a pipe. I put the harness on him. I take this paintbrush. Another paintbrush all too cool. You can click on a radio and I'll tell you what it means. That's an educational game. I'm going in here. I guess I'll save the free little jerk. No, no, get out of there! You ruined my beautiful machine! No! By the way, apparently this game and Day of the Tentacle were made like at the same time. Yeah! Without either one of them knowing the other was being made, apparently. Yeah! And they both go back in time and meet Ben Franklin. And they both have a vortex too. We saw this in the, the other demo, the Harry Krishnas. She broke the Liberty Bell. How come he fell second if he went the vortex first? What a drag, spiritual man. The bell is having a crack in it. It was the bell's karma to be doing so. Do not sweat it, my brother. I am digging you, brother. You are most heavy. Let us take the bell to the forge and think good thoughts upon it. Come back here. I was going to press the truth button, but you did, you did it for me before I got there. Fall. So if you see something which is not, which is anachronistic, you're supposed to press the button, press the truth button on it to call them, and you get some points. So the fact that it's Harry Krishna's in, in 17 whatever. Take a shot for each time they said brother. <laughs> actually, I should get a drink. <coughs> the Lord Bill has actually cracked the foundry of Forge because Uncle Fred's evil machine has done its work. In case you already saw, that was a demonstration of the truth icon. Use it often. Now back to Pepper's Avengers in Time. <laughs> it's funny, he was asleep. That wasn't Michelangelo. Michelangelo's like. In case you're wondering what you just saw, that was a demonstration of the truth icon! Use it often, dude! That's more like Michelangelo. Holy Harry Krishna's locked jaw, do you see what I did you just see just see what I just saw? Uh-huh. Good, I thought my brain fell out or something. Oh, wow, it looks like Dr. F Uncle Fred's machine. And also, it's, this one's Uncle Fred, that one's Dr. Fred. How could it be, like, so, so much the same? Doesn't that, like... Like, isn't that, like, too weird? They're both named Fred? <laughs> I mean, seriously, that, like, this, like, boggles the mind. How that could possibly happen. And Day of the Tentacle is, is my number one favorite game of all time. This game is also really good, but it's nowhere near as known as Day of the Tentacle. There aren't supposed to be Harry Krishnas here, right? I mean, there aren't even any airports. Yeah, Fred is a common name. What, it's not that common. Like, every single person in the world is named Fred. What's the chances that we have the same exact freaking name for the villain? Roo, roo. Oh, boy, we have to fix it somehow. What are we going to do, buddy? I guess you want to talk to this dude because you're like, oh, what just happened? I skipped the dialogue by accident. That's a girl? That was a guy. I'm not sure now. Pretty lass, my, but the, that clothing is odd. Oh, I'm rude. I do not mean to offend, stranger. Pretty, have mercy. I'm Pepper Pumper, the Glace Reporter. What hard climb? As I guess the guy. Led you to these sad circumstances, Mr. Village Idiot. Hey, you don't look so good. Are you okay? Is it a guy or a girl? I guess the guy. I have committed no crime, lass, so my name is not okay. No street man wears eyeliner that bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's gay. I don't know. My name's not okay. My answer is English, not Irish. English. Paul Richard, not thy service. If you haven't created a crime, you need to get your head stuck in that thing. Well, it is a long story, but I am at thy mercy. You see, something awful has happened to Benjamin Franklin. He once led the people off fast, and he to be wise and good and frugal. 
Is that like supposed to like he's wearing a hair curler? Is that like should I put the truth icon on him? Now it gives them ridiculous silly advice. They found like a flock of sheep. Foolishness and frivolity rule our once fair colony, thanks to Ben. For pointing out their folly, my friends and neighbors have clapped me into these stocks. Please, lass, I need thy help most desperately. Okay, what can I help you, Mr. Poor Richard? You can distribute copies of my almanac. I tell you, I'm not okay, lass. Ah, no matter. Thou could give me a drink from yon dipper, if it pleases thee. It would help me the most if you would set me free. I hate to ask it, lass, but I've got a family to care for. Right, let's give him something from the dipper. I'll just fill this dipper up with water. Give it to this dude. Oh, thank thee, lass. That made me feel so much better. Please, because thou set me free now. Do I have a key? And how can I set him free? I guess that's a horn. Here you go, Mr. Richard. Oh, that feels ever so much better. How can I ever thank thee? Well, I must away. I feel I've been for my duty too long. I must hurry back to uh, back to my family. Again, I thank thee. Farewell. That's a little bit sus, is right. Except we need this dipper. Uh oh. Here now, I saw what you did. You let that criminal go. Who are you? Chill out, dude. Urgh. I am the king's own watchman, I am, and you're under arrest. For what? For tampering with the king's justice? For outlying his dress and... Hey, you're a girl, are you not? No, I'd said I'm a talking dog. You can't fool me, you're a girl. You're also charged with wearing trousers in public. Come here, you, let's just empty those pockets. Hey, how are you feel the press? Locked your help! Go for it, Lockjaw. Look at this guy, he's like totally molesting this girl. Yeah! Good job. Now don't let go, just stay there. You call Lockjaw for a reason. I threw him in jail. Oh man, Lockjaw, I can't believe this. Five minutes after you got to Colonial America, we're criminals. I gotta get the heck out of here. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Ruff! Give me a, a hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd be sorry about that criminal, young lady. You're the sorriest thing around, dude. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Hey, a hammer, I should pick that up. Obviously, he's never going over that one. I can smash the window. Smash the window with a watchman grab or anyway. There's a little nail there. Let's pry these puppies right out of there. Okay, now I have a nail. Ooh. Shit, that already. Right. I have two nails. What's it do with them? I put them on. The, they somehow make a trap for him. What is this anyway? They're stealing nails. I, I don't know why. I go with musket balls. Say muskrat balls. Okay, 
flower. My eyes are upon you, young lady. <laughs> There's a pleasant thought. I right, use the nails to rip the sack of flour. Yeah, apparently not. Jeez, stop biting me, loser. We try to tap the painted glass out. Before it's like to try to do that. Can't do that. All right, what about the door? Let me out of here. Not your life, you little wretch. Our packed dirt floor feels like cement. What can I do to get out of here? Come on, I haven't done anything. To be a judge, and I says you're guilty. Now be quiet, you. Okay, like I get it. So any basketballs? You know, that big jerk will be able to see what I'm doing. I'll try to come in and we could like, Hey, what are you doing now, you little hooligan? Changing my clothes, sir. Look at all that. See, you just proud for his lordship. I will, you big oaf. What's that? Said so you a loaf? I'm hungry. Let me bring your cold sheep stomach gruel pretty soon. That's good enough for you. Do you think you are the general's daughter? Hmm. All right, now at least he can't harass me constantly. What else can I do now? Do I even have my stuff anymore? I'm actually trying to open it. Oh, there's like a patch underneath there. Well, that got me totally nowhere. I'm bum locked. I think I'm taking a nap. We even decided to hang us or anything. Nailed it. That's <laughs> funny. Probably into the demo. It's all been a bit of demo. Pretty long demo. And now I'm locked, John. Locked your dick's like a piece. Locked your is a beast. What? Good boy. Smart boy. Come on, boy, we're getting out of here. Oh, a bone. Got some clothes for Pepper, too. There's that dude. Look at that curse. I'll get right back. I'll fork over the bone, bud. Good boy, good boy. No way, I wouldn't be caught dead in that girly foo foo sissy thing. I'd rather wear a barrel. There's a bra here, too. I can't quite reach it. It's a bow lock truck. Get it, boy. She's not a feminist, she's just like a tomboy. Why do we need some bra? 
Oh, his baby clothes? Might be just a thing. That was a bra. For, 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 for Lockjaw. Excuse me. <laughs> She's very modest. <laughs> you live. You look marvelous. <laughs> it's so funny. It's been a work lock show that watch you recognize the orders for dog meat. You there, hold it. See me lad, but you see a wretched little girl in a beige white butt? No sir, I'm not walking my baby sister all morning. Baby sister, eh? Let's have a look. I love babies. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Coochie coochie coo. Grr. Oh dear, she's a bite ugly, poor little nipper. I suppose she'll grow out of it. Move along, laddie. Yes, sir. Gamer's <laughs> Crafts, I was so confused when I first played this game the back was a tape recorder. How oh, interesting. Alright, so far so good, but just be quiet. Make like a baby, Lockjaw. Meow. Uh-oh. That mangy cat. Maybe we get the point. Meow. Meow. Lockjaw, no. It's the same asshole, Fred. Oh, bother. What is it now? Some snot nosed Chloe or Brad, I suppose. I just had these wheels polished, you know. It appears to be a dog, General Pug, sir. A dog, you! Hey, has, has anyone seen that strangely clad young girl about? She's a feller, that dog is her accomplice. Well, that hardly matters, does not you, malodorous fellow? That dog is dead. He is not. He's just stunned, he is. See there, man. That dog is stiff as a board. That dog was stiff before he even hit your carriage. See there, he's looking at you. Hello, doggy. I forget what accent I did for that guy. Already. He's not looking at me because he can't look at me. That dog has perished. Oh, this is like a Monty Python joke. He is deceased, defunct. He is an ex-dog. See, I told you, I told you. I want you to shut your gob and find this mysterious girl, you fat wit. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Oh, Pepper's about to get caught. She better do something. Should I do hide? What's I supposed to do? I had like half a second there. I always like this, uh, the ending here where it did that. I think I'm dead because I didn't save the game. I don't know if there's a way to undo. I think it's only restore. I was trying to, <laughs> at least I get nationalized healthcare. I was trying to go hide behind the, the uh, thing there. It just didn't work. 
Oh, you can try again. Okay. That's actually very, very generous of you. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Is I pressed the walk instead of the, the, the hand. Now, now, Miss Pugh, you know what that dog and the dog to the escape felony is? See here, you rancid fellow. Somebody that will literally watch me address my... Ima? You're not worthy to clean our pony's stable. Don't even look at her. Yes, your lordship. Sorry, your lordship. But I can't even want to look at her. Her gives me the horrors. Oh, look at him. Isn't he precious? Oh, I love you, doggy. I'm going to keep you forever and ever. Daddy, help me get the doggy into the carriage. But I am a darling. That creature... What's her, what's her last... Her middle name or last name? Like, I'm a disgusting, ugly person. That creature is infested with fleas. Who knows what else? It ruined my beautiful carriage. Daddy, I want the doggy. But sweet pea. I want the doggy. I want the doggy. I want the doggy. All right, enough. Percy, you heard my daughter. Get the dog to the carriage, you idiot. Yes, sir. General Pug Pew, sir. Pug Pew, I don't know how your name is. Right, let's get on with this. He must be over. Okay, this is like the longest demo I've ever seen. Arf, arf, arf! I am a keep that dog away from me, I mean it! Arf, arf! Daddy, don't, you're hurting him! Me hurting him? Just look at him, looks like he's about to. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I gotta love that dog. Don't worry, Lodger, I'll save you, I promise. So, if, not, if, if you want to see Lodger again, you'll have to get your own copy of Pepper's Adventures of Time. It's easy, and it was the end. It's called the Sierra Sales Desk, 800-326-6654, Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, Monday through Friday. Outside the U.S., call 209-683-4468, or you can fax it at 209-683-4297. Please include your name, address, phone number, credit card number, and expiration date. Yes, I got my credit card right here. The place of national is the Sierra UK on sales office. Call 0734-303-171. You can also fax your order 734 Yeah, it's holding to a cost for a big wall. Hurry, Lacho's counting on you. It's sort of funny, actually. I know it's a credit card. Oh, I got a quiz. How was the Liberty Bell cracked? It was cracked during its initial casting and forging process. What's Poor Richard's Almanac? A book of facts, problems, and humor written by Ben Franklin. Oh! Oh! That cow looks a lot. What did Ben Franklin do with the stocks in Boston? Uh, anybody need any guesses? I would guess through a letting writing, letting writing campaign he caused it to be burned. I don't think he built them. I don't think he painted them pink. I don't think he thought they got to get a posse together. I don't know. Anybody know the answer to this? Anybody of the 5,000 people that are watching right now? Any guesses? I'm going to say this, but I think it's probably wrong. There's nobody else has a guess. Oh, that's right. Oh! Oh! Jules! And Van! What did the stamp tax actually tax? Stamp act actually tax. Tax on specially stamped paper goods. Tabs for potion stamps. Tax on rubber stamps. I think it's A. What did the town watch do? They are hired by the British to keep the colonists safe. 
You're hired by the town itself to defend the colonists. I guess see. Yay, I think that's all of it. Alright, I can exit now. I got everything right. How do I exit? Quit. That was fun. Did you guys like that? Whoever's never played that game, you you missing out. Alright, let's see what's on other favorites. Alphabet blocks. Five out of ten, that's it always asleep. Alphabet blocks that monkey and that 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 jack of the box thing again. Luckily there's no actual demo this time. We need to talk. We had the full game stream, chop chop. Mix up Mother Goose. I'm not sure there's a demo for that. I see like so many demos for Mix Up Mother Goose. It's like so oh wow, I can't believe it. It's almost like it's Roberta Williams' favorite game, even though like it's such I don't know, it's not bad, but it's it's only for kids, clearly. Mix up fairy tales is actually made by the Coles. Or at least one of the Coles. I think both the Coles. But I'm not sure of that now. It's not buzzing. It's a weird buzzing coming from outside my house. I mean, it's coming from my fan. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Show the logo before you put your like splash tax on there. This is Brodenburg and Trudeau. Bach of Brodenburg and Trudeau, I believe. <laughs> I no, no, no. I never played this game, by the way. I played Mix Up Other Goose, I never played Mix Up Fairy Tales. I think it's the same thing, basically. What song is this? I don't know. This is uh, this is Bach, uh, Beethoven Symphony Number no. Number no. Nine, um, first movement, I believe. And this is movement number four, No to Joy, but really sort of uh, distorted version of it. I think, but I can't remember really the song. Alright, let's see what the song is. I guess that was it. I have no idea what that game was, but I liked all the classical music. Trolls Tales, Fuzz is Eddie. I played that one time, a long time ago. Castle of Dr. Breed. I 
This is my this is by Corey Cole as well. Castle of Doctor Brain. That's why uh, Doctor Brain is supposed to, is like the ancestor of the guy in Quest for Glory Four, Doctor uh, what's his name Cranium, or vice versa. Doctor Cranium is the ancestor of Doctor Brain. That's what I said, Gamers Grotto. I think repeating things that I say. I really enjoyed Castle of Dr. Brave. That was a very fun game. A good Takata feud. <laughs> Same song. I feel like the actual game was different than the demo. Regardless, it's cool. I like the soundtrack too. <laughs> Always asleep, really? I didn't know that. That's really cool, actually. That's that's actually that, that's a pretty cool insight. Hey, Pirate Gear Boy 12. I wish my door opened like that. Island of Dr. Brave, the sequel, was also good. And then after that, they, they took over, away from Corey Cole and they made it, some other people made it, and it was like basically shit after that, in my opinion. It was like the time warp of Dr. Brain and the lost mind of Dr. Brain, and they were both not very good. And then after that, they had more Dr. Brain games and even worse. This is the first one, and it's a very good game. You like puzzles. You don't, you hated the voice work in the later games. I just the, the art. I hated the voice work, the artwork. I hate everything about the later games. Doctor Brain says, "Thank you for visiting the castle of Doctor Brain demo. Look for my real castle, your favorite software retailer, or order directly from Sierra Online by calling this number." Your brain goes to a mouse. That's the lost mind of Dr. Brain. Um, I have the Island of Dr. Quadri, but I have not played it yet. Well, there's a demo of Island of Dr. Brain, too. You own everything, Gamers Grotto. You own a lot of games. At least you own the code. That reminds me of Pajama Sam. Thunder and Lightning aren't so frightening. Someone, someone wrote, in Twitch wrote it. I'm not sure if he's still there. I didn't see it until just now. I wasn't paying attention. Wrote, Al, yeah, I'm wearing a Starfleet uniform. Al Hazred is the true ruler and owner of Kasima. You are an intruder and a visitor. Don't interfere. And he wrote, Al Hazred is a stud. <laughs> what was his name? The Vizier. Was it something else? Something Al Hazred? Abdul Al Hazred. Yeah, Gamer's Grind, I rolled in Starfleet. I didn't tell you that. This is the Starfleet summer, uh, summer like, uh, fashion.
Oh. Oh, I thought for a second it's interactive, but it's moving the mouse for me. Pretty interesting. That's novice level. This game, I played Castle of Doctor Brain over a few times. I think I only played Island once. So I don't really remember it at all. But at some point, we gotta play this. Where is it? Flux. Flux four hundred on Twitch says. I shall return, but first I'm going to play, pay homage to Al Hazred by Liege. I'm going to play King's Quest VI demo out at the end of this, hopefully, Flux. But, uh, are you, are you ready to Flux wildly, first of all? And second of all, um, are you the genie? What was that guy's name? Shamir Shavazel? Yeah, I was wondering, somebody I got to play this. The Fool's Errand. This is by the same guy. This is the first game by the guy who made three. Well, not, it's actually not the first game, but it's one of the first games by the guy who made three and three, three and three, and some other crappy games that he played. Good man, you're your own flux. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving the King's Quest Six demo for the end because I figured that's be the longest one. Mother, come quick! Alexander, what is it? Mother, the magic mirror show me porn! That's wonderful, Alexander! Alexander pulls out his magic porn magazine. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. I don't know what's going on here, but... You bear no relation to others, Flux? You spelled bear wrong. But if bear relations spelled like that, it's like you're getting naked in front of your relatives, so it's probably good that you're not doing that. You should get a webcam, Gamers Grotto. I think the interactive demos are definitely more fun than the non interactive demos, but. But this is okay. I get to see what the game is like. Like I said, I, I, do, I did play this and I remember it being fun. I just don't really remember it at all. Your bear relations. Dr. Brain's Genetto Pute machine. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, that's not nice music. The other game had even better music. The first Dr. Brain game, it was like a rockin' soundtrack. But I guess it's probably weird. It's like largely that game Spore. Alright, I guess that's it. Quit. Have I been to Pagan? Do you like Pagan Ultimate 8? Or a different Pagan? Uh, let's see, Quirky and Quasi use Turbo Science. Do they have a demo for this one? I wonder. They do not. Probably a good thing, because it's, it's not such a good game. Indeed, Avatar. I never actually played that one. Um, I've played through a lot of the Ultimas, but, but not that one yet. I have to go back and play that at some point. Alright, let's see the next thing here, which is the Sierra Network. I oh, that's going to work. Avatar! Sorry. Um, this demonstration see around because it's a free starter kit with the Sierra Network. I mean, this, this is not going to work if I install it. I'm curious what happens, though. It's, it can't, it's impossible for it to work. It can't work. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Turbo Science is, is a Jeff Tedell production to Pirate Gear Boy.
trying to see our family. I have a bunch of old discs of Sierra Network, like beta discs and stuff like that. I'm going to try to play with those at some point. Helico is Hell Command. I'm going to I'm gonna restart this, actually, because I think it completely crapped out. I didn't really expect the Sierra Network to work, so that's okay. Let's try Cocktail Vision. Alright, there's only seven titles here. Goblins 1, Goblins 2, Goblins 3, Inca, Inca 2, The Prophecy, and Lost in Time. They made a lot of other games that Sierra didn't, never like, picked up, unfortunately. Unfortunately or unfortunately. Let's try Goblins 1. The Goblins games are super hard, in my opinion. It's like... It's basically like nonsensical. Okay, that sounds good, I guess. Yeah, they're really hard. They're also, also like a weird, like Simlish or something. And now someone like stabs the king with a, the, the voodoo of the king. And the king like goes insane, bat shit. See like a little box out or something. But yeah, it's like there's like three of them and they all have different things they do and when you click on something with all of them like the, what happens is completely random, so there's no way to know like what to do, it's just all guessing, trial and error. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. <laughs> Well, there's a Goblins 4 that they made a few years back. The, the guy who... The original creator... Went back and made another one. What is there from Game Arts anyway, Pirate Gear Boy? Yeah, they really beat the shit out of this guy. Why does the spider do something good? Nicky would get scared of his body. Why does that work? Sorry, I forgot this part here. What? That's what that's what Game Arts made. They probably. I, mean, I don't know why they didn't include that. This is like the. This is like what the European box art. Yeah, Pierre Gilhode is the guy that made the the, the, the Goblins Four. Muriel Tremi is, is she's made a lot of other like adventure games for Cocktail Vision, but this is what the European box art looks like, and the. And the U.S. box art looks like what it showed before. You'll see it again when we exit the demo. Yeah, I don't know what Moby is. Is it actually a playable demo? Oh my god, it is. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so basically this is how it works here. There's like these old three assholes. And they all have different capabilities. So you click on one, it does whatever. But like, if this asshole opens the door, then something might good might happen. Although I can't freaking open the door. I have to right click on it. So he, he this guy comes out. He's like, "Fuck you, go away." And he's like, "I don't know what to do." But if you have the other guy. Click on the door. Alright, stop that shit. 
Oh, now I'm in the third dude. This, I think this guy has magic or something. But I'm not sure anymore. You get a horn from the dude of the arches? Yes, yeah, so this guy tried to cast magic. And then the guy, like, you know, whatever. Like, it's not even clear what the objective is right now. That's part of the problem. Because now this guy, he also can punch the door. Maybe. He wouldn't even do it. He's like, no, I'm not punching the door. You want to punch the door? Like, yeah, see, the, the horde is, like, wiggling. So I guess that's a tr that's that. It, it wiggled just now, so I guess that's supposed to be a clue. Although, like, I would never have noticed that in a million years. And it's wiggling. Oh, I can also pick up. He's like, oh, what the hell do you want? Alright, so somehow I did I don't even know how I got to the right guy. But somehow I got to the right guy. I don't even know how, how the freak I did it. This guy, this dude could pick shit up. I didn't pick him up. What the hell? Come on, pick, pick that shit up. Now I have a horn. And now, can I use the horn? What just happened? What just happened? What happened? I don't even know what just happened. I dropped it? Oh, it's here. So we... Why, why does it let you drop it? Thank you, Ryan, for telling me that, because I didn't even realize what the hell happened. Like, how, do, how do you, like, deal with the inventory? It just says horn. Like, can I use the freaking horn? This is, like, the shittiest interface I've ever seen. Can I show the horde this guy's ass? Oh, so that guy yells at you if you do that. All these things are supposed to be like important in some way. But you don't know like which is wh what's important. Yeah, I did better the second game also. What is me live man? Leave me live man. What the fuck does that mean? Wow. My well, loss of health. I guess this is my health bar at the bottom. I lost some health just now. Oh, so now he has the horde. Now, now he blows the horde when I use the, the object. So this dude is actually, this is the inventory man. This guy is just a attacking machine. I lost some more health from that. So I guess I do that enough times, I'll just keep on, uh, oh, no, not him, not him, not him, come back. Come back. Come on. Try to control this thing. All right. I'll blow your horn out, this guy. Me lord, me lord. What's this over here? A stick? Where'd that stick come from? A branch. I don't even know where that came from. Apparently, I have a branch. No, don't hit yourself in the head, you dumbass. I, I lose health for doing a stupid thing. Oh my god.
He's like a stupid moron. Is he the only guy who can use the bridge? Apparently. This, that's the thing. This game sucks, in my opinion. I mean, that, that, I, I didn't like these games when they came out. Like, one, one day I'll play this, and I'll, like, I'll actually go through it and try to beat it, probably with a walkthrough. But, like... It's really trial and error. Like I don't even understand like what what the hell's going on. What what's this? Does he even tail this guy? No, the, the hor oh so he he swapped the branch for the horn. The all the guy does with the branch is beat himself on the head with it. So that's obviously not right. He can't, they can't even open this door without hitting them. Oh god, he still has a freaking branch. I don't even know. How, <laughs> how do I drop the branch? Yeah, try anything until you figure it out or get frustrated and quit. And for me, it's going to be get frustrated and quit. Also, sometimes you have to work together with these guys. Like, one person do something, and then, like, the guy comes out and goes, like, be on you, be on you. Why well, so do that? You should have some other guy do something else. This would be good for Action 52 game. <laughs> no, it's not what I want to do. I'm just clicking on them switches it. Sometimes. Supposed to switch. It doesn't always. I just try to sleep this guy. I was trying to blow up that guy when he's there. <laughs> Alright, I give up. This is, this, I'm not wasting any more time on this. This is this is this is sort of fun, but oh the screen two, screen three, screen four, what the heck? How did I get here? Now I have a pickaxe. I still lost all my health. I don't understand this at all. Let's exit. Sheesh. This all this cocktail vision stuff. That game twenty thousand leagues under the sea that we played with also cocktail vision. Everything with cocktail vision so far that I've ever played has been like really weird, except for maybe maybe lost in time. Inca is like one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. I'll see if there's a demo of Inca. Actually, before I do that, this is this is what I was going to show you before is this is the U.S. box art of Goblins, at least the, the disc version. To exit from the demo, click on the skull. The um, the CD version is totally different than that too. All right, let's try Goblins two. So Goblins one has three eyes in the title. There's three Goblins. Goblins two has two eyes in the title. There's only two goblins, and there's, and there's no uh, there's no demo, thank God. <laughs> All right, let's see uh, Inca, Inca for CD ROM. Well, there has to be a demo for this, please, please. Yes. All right, you guys gotta see this crap. It's like the most ridiculous crap I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I'm 
probably right about River Rider. I'm just talking about the ones I've played. Anybody know what just happened? I don't want to see that. Let's try this again. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> the flip part. <laughs> That's the scene I remember. That was your demo. Let's watch that again. <laughs> First it turns into like a zombie guy, <laughs> and then it turns into, what is that called? It's not, it's not a flute. It's like, it's like it's totally separate from the rest of the picture too. What is that called, anyway? Okay, it's like a xylophone almost. Please don't freeze up this time. Oh well, it's a shitty demo. That sucks. I don't know if we're about to fix that. <laughs> the parts too. The whole game is like is like somewhat on LSD. Pan flute. The whole game is like is like someone on LSD made made a game. That's what it basically is. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else we can do. It's also a standalone runnable product. Yeah, it's sort of broken, unfortunately. Oh well, we'll have to find another another, another demo ink at some point. I mean, I have the game. I want to I want to play it at some point too on this channel. I have too many copies of it actually. But yeah, it's I, I, I tried to play it one time, it's like it's like unplayable. Like it's I don't even know how they sold it. Like how how can you sell this in stores? Jeez. I'm sorry that it didn't work, guys. I'm really sorry because that was probably the best demo on the whole thing. Maybe Inca two will work. Let's try Inca two. All right, <laughs> let's try Inca Two. What kind of game was it? I have no freaking idea. Oh, it's the slideshow. Boo, boo. Oh wait, something moving. There's no sound. Boo. As far as I can tell, it's like a cross between an adventure game. And some kind of ship flying combat game, but like, it, it makes no sense at all. Basically, is the bottom line. So this game is coming soon. So this is like a half baked demo, unfortunately. 
This is like a ship. That would have been the game of the night for sure if it, if it would have crashed. And he's like, what kind of language are you talking Like, he's trying to wag. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing with the Aces of the Pacific demo from the other night. Without the music, though, it's, I mean, it, needs, it needs that weird music, too. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh la la. It's moving again. Looks like shit, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. If I see Rob, I paid a fortune at four, could do this. That was it. That was a whole shitty demo. Let's try the prophecy. Probably no demo of this, I'm guessing. Well, there, well, there is. I haven't played this game either. Um, originally, it was called Ween the Prophecy, and then they would see her republish it. They call it just the Prophecy. Sure, let it not work again. Okay. Oh, game or demo? Let's go for demo. With a piece of speaker. Eclipse, Akram, my grandfather, chief wizard, knocked at my door. The kingdom of the blue ball, I'm sorry, the blue rocks was in danger. Green, my magic is leaving me. My powers are no longer strong enough to keep the kingdom from falling under Crawl's shadow. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> it's like a wrestling guy or something. He's been banished here. It's the Phantom Zone. This guy looks definitely pretty old. Yes, yeah, so his name is Weed. I guess it's not like too much like Weedus or something. Eliminate with the power of the Rivas, the hourglass of power, and fully the prophecy. Looks like it's probably an okay game. <laughs> Crawl's dome will thus be sealed. Means Crawl's doom will be sealed. Crawl's dome will be sealed. What does that mean? They were to finish his house. It usually means his doom will be sealed. Shit like this existed. I will say this is like more comprehensible than Inca though. Oh man, look at that. God, he likes to eat people. He's actually like an inch tall, it's a good, good force perspective. That's the point of the Alright, look what I got here.
pineapple. Oh, now, that, now that's me. Like, yeah, heck with this, I'm gonna get out of here. This is really the prophecy. Yeah, this is called the prophecy. Just flew in and like broke my shoe. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Let's try game. And what's the pieces we can show? Look at this. Loader is the name of the program right now. It's the same program from like 20,000 liter to see. <sighs> that game was really shitty, wasn't it? Can I skip this? Controllers. Strawberries? Yeah, that's my inventory. <laughs> what? this shit down. You can call up a vampire with a flute and then you have to feed him fruit. I think like, too bad I don't really like, I, I, I mean I that guy's head from the other game because he turned into a flute, right? I'll give me your grandfather's magic copper ball. I don't know what the hell's going on here. So did you do the copper ball? Oh, this is the copper ball. So now I have strawberries and copper wool. There's a tons here, so the pliers. I said tons. It said pliers, but after I picked it up, it said pliers. Hard. This is like a real serious adventure here, guys. Saga, the love of gel, and this is even Legend of Gel. Another cocktail version game. It's very hard to come by. I went to a copy on eBay that went for $2. Actually, nobody bid on it. I think it was uns maybe it's one person bid that got it for $2. I never see the copy of it ever again for the PC. I do have a compilation that has to go. Alright, go 
Sleep I'm amazed there's actually a, a demo. You must go in 10 minutes. The text talks about certain types of vampires which can produce spares of magic or what they eat. So the, the skull. Sleeping draw. Seeds. Key. I can't, I can't put the key in my inventory. Tablet. What's this? Padlock? Okay. Here's the key of the padlock. This key is too big. Okay. It's not working with you frustrated. What the shit I have now? What the hell? That's a nice video. This guy again? But he's not shaking his hand this time, he's just like sort of laughing at me. Just had a strange vision, how odd. Dirty rat. I think the rat poison. This <laughs> looks like rat poison. Yeah, a little bit of jump scare there. I don't know if we have anything for the rat. If I go this way, does it get back to where I was? I'm getting pretty tired too, actually. Pirate gear, boy. I'm going out the window. Oh, there's a door there. It's not a window. There was another door there. <laughs> I'm boogie. They're crazy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, booky. I'm Orby. We're Ricky and Orby. I want to go with you. We carry all your things. We'll be your servants. I think this is a weird ass game. Oh, I think I have to go this So, what happened to those two guys? Iki and Uki. It's like starting to doze off there for a second. Go the game. <laughs> I don't know what just happened to it. I need to like get a flute or something, right? They said. The other thing I was saying, I'm getting frustrated. Like I, I didn't say I was getting frustrated. There's no way out of this room except through the way I came. What else I put here? I 
I don't know. I think I've lost my ability to reason properly, given the fact that I'm getting tired. It's like almost one three in the morning. This is this is a pretty good game. I mean, this seems like a very very weird game, but but also like decent adventure type game. I mean, obviously I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm wrong, but. Yeah, I probably need some kind of cheese or something like that. There's something inside the skull, it said. Oh, for sure, better than goblins. Gotta use something on this skull. I guess that had to go away. I think I gotta stop here. Um, if I save the game, I don't think so. Characters. The three no jokers is a solid puzzle. So I think we're going to call it a stream here. I'm getting pretty tired and I'm not able to play this anymore. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. Um, thanks to all the people who are here today. I'll, tomorrow I'm off due to Juneteenth. I'll probably stream again tomorrow. Um, but for now, thank you to Pirate Gear Boy, to Ryan, to Andy, to Always Asleep, to uh, Gamers Grotto, um, to Lewis. Who else is here? I think I said Andy, right? Well, to end if I didn't say it, but I think I did. And uh, I think that's it. And also all the lurkers. So, and also to Flux400 on Twitch. Thanks for following me. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you like this stuff, follow, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Pirate Gear Voice is apparently adventure gamers give us a 40%. Comment that for players who don't particularly enjoy inventory puzzles, the game easily becomes obscure, tedious, and will play it enjoyable. I like inventory puzzles. I think it's, I don't understand what's going on. Like, were those two twin guys or whatever? It was really weird. I'm going to try to see if I can continue this uh, next time. I was making some progress. Just like, again, I got too tired to continue. All right, guys. We'll do this again soon. Have a great night, everybody. And uh, peace out.